Welcome back by the channel. In this video, we are keep exploring a real time but seat monitoring system. So, passenger is uh, sitting in the rear seats, seats are available or not. Passenger is, passenger is coming and uh, also passenger seats reserved. Okay, so how do we implement in real time, real world? So, you can see my screen and uh, I hope this use case. Uh, for you guys and uh, it's help for you in to achieve their AI uh, computer vision uh, just learning and uh, real world implementation so we build uh, every week uh, new use case new thing and uh, new videos so hope you like it and uh, also you can support us for subscribe and like our channel and share with your colleagues if uh, this video is informational for you so let's see my screen. We start from sketch. Uh, first of all, you can see my laptop screen, and uh, I will show you one demo. And uh, this video will be is uh, in front of you. People is coming, personnel is coming, and the seats uh, uh, person is see, uh, sitting, and the seat available. Okay, so it's monitoring real time. And if you want to more see the. Uh, just like uh, more accurate uh, how much percentage is accurate our video will be deducted you can see uh, here I am open the percentage uh, percentage setting 3, 4, 5 percentage setting ok you will implement in a yourself on a logic otherwise the seat available is uh, mentioned and also where you can see percentage is coming into bus so also he mentioned the person is coming and when he sit so he also mentioned that he will be sick so this is the whole logic how we implement uh, this whole logic you can see uh, and follow my script step by step we will guide to you so uh, first of all uh, I am close the videos so yes we first of all upload our uh, video and see this video will be uploaded in uh, our uh, RoboFlow account. So, how do we start RoboFlow? Go to the RoboFlow app. Dot, uh, RoboFlow dot com. Uh, after you can see, we un I am already logged in, but uh, you create the account and uh, set the data set uh, name. We uh, build the use case. Uh, so, name person. Okay, if you want to enumerate group name, you also give any name. And uh, first of all, you upload your data set. Now you can see I am uploading the video file and after uploading we are creating images uh, videos it from uh, videos into images ok so let me create first of all images and uh, your frame per second will be uh, up to you what you want and uh, I am uh, 1 frame per second means 60 ok uh, one upon 60 and uh, 20 images will be our data set uh, it's enough for me for use case so we are processing uploading process is done after creating some images uh, it's very easy platform for enumeration data and they uh, up to you what you want to use so after you can see uh, my ID uh, uploading and assigning a team member this I'm not assigning team member I'm starting myself let's start enumeration uh, uh, now, now so uh, here uh, I'm creating use case with certain people okay and uh, yeah write the sitting people and not available and uh, you can see we are uh, enumerate data uh, uh, one by one images and uh, in front of you we are creating all them enumerated successfully uh, so you can also analyze the data or how three to four classes will be available now uh, generate the enumeration process and obviously we trained the first uh, data set in RoboFlow then we extend uh, means export the data set first uh, you can see I'm not downloading but uh, for uh, option I'm using YOLO V11 uh, and they show the uh, RoboFlow code but uh, obviously we are trained first uh, RoboFlow uh, 3.0 version uh, data set then we go to uh, YOLO V11 side so train with that uh, theory created is available it's free okay so here 
uh, recommended option is uh, number one fast and accurate also it meets your uh, up to you uh, not slow is more much accurate fast is less yes accurate so it's the option to give him and uh, here and select the model coco models recommended so here uh, it's taking a few minutes uh, in my video but uh, you can uh, see around the uh, 30 to 25 minutes will be trained uh, because we are uh, slow processing so now we uh, upload the uh, video file in front of you and refresh it and they upload the that uh, one file video file uh, so demo video so when we see that the uh, detection part is going on it's working fine so we export the our data set with the YOLO V11 and trend data. Okay. So in this video, we covered two topics, uh, trend the data and uh, export the data and uh, how to uh, MBM in your system. Okay. So multiple things in the uh, video will be creation uh, for landing process. And to end, uh, from uh, I am also, you can see configuration level is 25% will be show, uh, showing to you. So this process will be in. Now we in, go to the collab side and uh, how to train data. So uh, from sketch will be start and uh, open the Google Chrome. Uh, first of all, you can search out the uh, Py Research GitHub. Okay, when you search out the Py Research GitHub. Uh, you can see here notebooks or not or not uh, this one notebooks okay after you can see the notebooks you can go to the yolo 11 object detection first we train the data then we export the model and uh, will implement in our logic in our codes so here uh, run time connect manage the section Okay, if uh, already uh, one uh, section is uh, already available, so it's terminal it and uh, and also change the runtime T4 GPU. Okay. By the way, you will implement the image levels, so we also add in this part. Uh, and then uh, also with uh, will be implement in this section. So we are going to step by step actually. So after you can see, we manage the section and the GPU will be connected successfully and runtime uh, NVIDIA is okay. And uh, here uh, our OS library is connected and the uh, ultra lessons will be implemented. Uh, now we need to get data set from here, uh, which already uh, use case build. And uh, you can see you will be available for test here also. You can see training part graphic already mentioned in uh, uh, when we label the images. So just uh, press the data set, show the code. Okay, after you can see copy from here and paste it. Okay, now just within seconds our data set will be in the image. It's almost 20 images, not uh, much images available. So after you can see, we mentioned the locate of the data set. Uh, this is command very important for you. Otherwise, the uh, data set will be not uh, mentioned the, the same path. Okay. So now epos is 100. Custom. Uh, so we need, need more train the data. So this training part is going on within seconds. Uh, not much taking time. So within seconds, we get uh, our export model. So successfully, after you can see we available the trend, the data set, we uh, some uh, discuss about the, our uh, data set folder, uh, weight and uh, also CSV files and uh, we mentioned the, a lot of things uh, in the same folder running folder, okay, from our detection, yeah, trend, so these files, okay. So you can see within seconds will be your repos is 1415. So guys, 
we are waiting for it. Uh, within seconds, our model will be trained successfully. So we spend uh, our data set side there, uh, and inside was 0 0.043 hours, and uh, our data set the uh, uh, yeah get successfully. And uh, you can see the plot. After you can see here uh, CSV file and wizard file. Uh, let me open. Yeah, yeah, ten pages. If you want to see the also confusion metrics, uh, we have available in the confusion metrics. So uh, let me explain the confusion metrics. Okay, so here it's not open. So here it's not open. But uh, by the way, we may need to our model. So we need to download our first of all our model data uh, weight file and yeah last. After last year we can also discuss about the confusion matrix. Uh, after confusion matrix we will discuss and uh, also we can uh, discuss about the here you can see the uh, confusion matrix will be hopefully work working well but uh, in front of you we also call the all uh, here confusion matrix and uh, a result uh, and you can see this is batches 0 and 1 logic and our model will be export and also you can see we are uh, see the confusion matrix uh, very easily here and also our training results now we need to detect the our batches uh, it's very easy for us in code side so here you can see we have successfully uh, see the our result and now you can also val validate our model uh, here best and last model okay after you can see you can also detect the images all images within our data set side so after you can see uh, we are in storage uh, reduction part is done uh, so let me see the some two results here number three but if you want to change it uh, uh, three you can also change it to uh, size four five six it's uh, whatever so up to you okay so this is the whole uh, logic uh, end to end uh, create the data set from uh, RoboFlow and uh, export the models uh, after training part and now we implement uh, our code side so you can see we are export the model uh, here name is last and cut from here and going to desktop and uh, my desktop name is dataset and paste here and also replace the we have already uh, model but uh, in front of you I am changed the replace it okay so we are going to step by step first you can see we target the uh, video file demo.mp4 you can also see this is the video now uh, I'm deleted the output and uh, here open the this code and uh, in front of you you can see we install the dependency uh, in our system then we implement uh, our uh, we also need to resize our uh, video format because it's uh, show, show us a uh, huge uh, okay so do not worry we have already code or we change the code in front of you otherwise we will implement this one and uh, see the output file but we change the uh, resize size okay uh, First of all, you can see we uh, export the last file and then now see uh, get the uh, best file. Let it cut. Okay, so you can see my screen. Follow the steps. Uh, open the CMD SAM folder, data set, and uh, first of all, I'm directly run it for the testing purpose. 
and uh, we install uh, ultra lessons library supervision library and the file server library and open cv library so let me show you how to install uh, all libraries otherwise we create a uh, here yeah, requirement folder so copy and paste ultra lessons file search open cv file trunk and uh, control let's save requirement dot x format okay so you can see it's not resize it's showing as full size but uh, the decking part is going on now First of all, you can install all dependencies. I am already done, but in front of you, I am going to step by step. Click install uh, minus R and the requirement file. I am already installed all dependencies, but uh, you get from uh, GitHub, go to the GitHub, by research, and the uh, here, bus seed manage with the CV bus. I mentioned it the real time bus monitoring with the computer vision, detection person lifts and seats. Okay. This is our use case. Now, uh, after you can see uh, installation part is done, requirement file is done, and uh, now we implement the uh, uh, custom. So we resize our uh, video size. Okay. So let me explain. So guys, you can see we have already resized the core, and uh, we are resize dot py i'm get from my personal github side with this code and uh, here copy and paste and uh, just change the amount here this one output and uh, resize okay and frame resize so let me start with thumb app dot py sorry not app dot py uh resize dot py i'm done Press Ctrl C now rewrite it again. Okay, right? the result is not quite. So hopefully it's working fine. So you can see now the Z C available, C available, passenger sit, passenger, we are the deck passenger, passenger and passenger. And uh, So it's going on. Uh, so this is the result uh, in front of you. We are achieved successfully and detection part also. And uh, hopefully you can light and light from our uh, video. And uh, keep connect with us, share these videos and support us. We are creating more uh, informational videos as soon as possible. So. Hope you like it and uh, can you support our channel for more getting information upgrades. See you in next video.